Coming up on this Monday, Josh Richards has quietly retired from dirt lay model racing. High Limit has more official full-timers than the Outlaws and more. Let's go. It's Monday, December 26th. I'm Justin Fiedler. This is Dirt Tracker Daily. The Dirt Lay model picture for 2023 got a little clearer back on Friday evening with the announcement that Josh Richards will not return to full-time racing, instead choosing to pursue other opportunities. I was a little surprised at the timing of this one because the release didn't hit until nearly 8 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, which was the Friday before Christmas Eve. It felt a little bit news dumpy to me. Richards is a four-time World of Outlaws champion, uh, bagging titles in 2009, 2010, 2013, and 2016. He was also the Lucas champion in 2017. Between the two national tours, Richards racked up 111 wins with 78 on the Outlaw side and 33 on the Lucas side. He's second all-time with the Outlaws now behind Brandon Shepard and seventh all-time with Lucas. The bulk of his success, especially on the Outlaw side, came with the Rocket House car, which is owned by his father, Mark. But that pairing dissolved late in 2016 with the shocking news that they would split for 2017. Richards then went Lucas Racing with best performance at the time, and Brandon Shepard ended up in the rocket car. With all of that success, though, it's been a tough go of it lately for the, ki uh, for the driver they called the Kid Rocket. 2022 was marred by crazy incidents. They had that camper fire earlier in the year, and then that dirt clawed to the face at Eldora. And Richards ended up missing time and finishing a disappointing sixth in the Outlaw standings. He had returned to the World of Outlaws driving for Boom Briggs after Clint Boyer Racing very kind of quietly dissolved on its own after 2021. I, and I think a lot of others, had hoped this was a chance for Josh to sort of stabilize his situation and get going in the right direction again. But it just wasn't meant to be. His last national tour wins came in 2021 when he scored uh, with the Outlaws at Bristol. And then he also won with Lucas at East Bay and Wheatland in May. Richards was without a ride for the 2023 season. His team owner, Boo Briggs, had already announced back in October that Max Blair would be in his second car for the following year after Blair split with Viper Motorsports. It's a shame to see someone hang it up at just 34 years old, especially with the longevity that late model drivers often enjoy. But Richards will be a surefire Hall of Famer with all he did in his career between the championships and the wins. According to Dirt on Dirt, only Scott Bloomquist has more wins on national tours, uh, talking about with the Outlaws and Lucas, than does Richards. Richards even attempted at one point to parlay his dirt lay model success into racing in NASCAR. From 2009 to 2012, he made 36 stock car starts across the E-Series, ARCA, and the NASCAR truck, and what is now the Xfinity Series. His best truck series finish was a 13th at Talladega in 2011, driving for Kyle Busch. And in 14 Xfinity starts in 2012, his best finish was 16th at Daytona. He did that driving for Archie St. Hilaire. In the release posted joshrichards.com, he did say that he'd be open to select races in the future if the right opportunity presented itself. Happy trails to Josh Richards. Also back on Friday, we found out that Buddy Kofoid and Crouch Motorsports are planning a full run with the High Limit Sprint Car Series next season. Except for that first event at Tulare, which is non-points, the CMS 11 will be in attendance at all of the 11 points-paying shows. Kofoid joins Kyle Larson and Rico Abreu in publicly announcing they'll chase the entire series. So besides those three uh, with high limit, we also know officially that Scotty Thiel is going all-star racing with Premier Motorsports, and we know that Noah Gass and James McFadden are officially returning to the World of Outlaws for 2023. So still a lot to decide across the Sprint Car Series as teams weigh their options for 2023. And right now, a lot of Sprint Car drivers are down under getting in some extra seat time this winter. Just this morning, Tyler Courtney picked up the win at Perth Motorplex during Speed Week. He topped Corey Eliason and Brock Zierfoss in that one. Fulmacito was also a winner in Tasmania. He's also down under doing a bunch of racing, as are a number of other guys. Uh, and a good place to keep up with a lot of that stuff uh, is, you know, there's there's people retweeting things on social media, but uh, Clay Preview is probably your best option if you want to watch some of those races. With still about two weeks left to go before Chili Bowl, the entry list has climbed to 355 cars. Uh, I believe uh, I saw Wikipedia say that this is the third highest count in history so far. Uh, and late last night, the event released the first draft of the split out prelim night lineups. The updated list does now include Rico Abreu in the KKM 24 and Days and Pursley now with Reinbold Underwood. And it appears as though Keith Coons is not replacing Pursley's entry as they still sit at 14 with the addition of Rico. 
Looking at the prelim night fields, Monday has Chase Briscoe, Gavin Bochel, Cannon McIntosh, Shane Golubic, Zeb Wise, Alex Bowman, Ryan Timms, our guy Tanner Holmes is uh, running on Monday, Jerry Coons Jr., and Chris Windham. Uh, Tuesday features Michael Pickens, Spencer Baston, Dazen Pursley, uh, Tim McCready, Zach Dom, Kaylee Bryson, Buddy Kofoid, and Jonathan Beeson. Wednesday's got Sammy Swindell, Justin Peck, Corey Day, Parker Price Miller, Timez. Uh, Rico's going to run that night as well. Jake Swanson, Blake Hahn, and Mitchell Moles. The Thursday field has JJ Yaley, Kevin Thomas Jr., Emerson Axum, Brady Bacon, Casey Schumann, Joby Miller, CJ Leary, Damian Gardner, Tanner Thorson, and Tanner Carrick. And Friday is highlighted by Justin Grant, Darren Pittman, Briggs Danner, Ricky Thornton Jr., Logan Seavey, Kyle Cummins, Shane Cottle, and Hunter Schoenberg. If you want to see the full list uh, of cars and all of those broken out prelim nights, you can do that over at chilibolt.com. So we've been sharing some shop photos this off season as drivers and teams kind of get their equipment prepared for 2023. Back on Friday, I had a series of emails from Chuck Roan Jr. Chuck owns a sprint car team in Pennsylvania that is currently campaigning a 305 race saver for driver Dustin Prettyleaf. Uh, they run at Clinton County a lot, and Chuck actually himself raced uh, 410s up until 2009 in Pennsylvania. He shared some photos of their shop and their car, but also of their sim rig. And this sim rig is insane. Chuck said they built it in 2020 uh, when iRacing kind of took off during COVID. It's actually a cut down Maxim chassis that is a full motion rig. It's got triple monitors, side doors that close, you know, kind of close you in for maximum immersion, and it's fully adjustable. This thing has bars on it, exhaust pipes, all kinds of stuff. And he shared a YouTube video with me from when they were testing it, and the video, I think, had something like 400 views when I first saw it. Uh, and thanks to a little uh, Twitter love from Dale Jr., uh, we've got the video close to 3,000 views in just a few days. I'll link to that video and another uh, in the video description below on YouTube if you want to check it out. If you're interested in owning this thing, Chuck is actually open to selling it. You can go find Roan Racing on Facebook, R-O-A-N, uh, for details. If you want to share your dirt racing shop photos with me, you can DM me on social media or email me at uh, info at dirttracker.com. I know this week between Christmas and New Year's is a little strange, often kind of quiet, but I'm still planning a full week of shows. The Tulsa Shootout starts later in the week, and I've got a few other topics I want to hit on, so stay tuned. There are four items on the streaming schedule today. Clayper View has sprint cars from Simpson Speedway. Dirt Vision has the iRacing Word of Outlaws and Dirt Vision Now, and there is Flow Racing 24-7. To see the full daily streaming schedule with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. All right, that's it for the show today. Hope you have a good Monday. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be right back here tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily. 